We can all remember the petrol crisis of 1973 and the queues of 1979, and one of the reasons for this report is to ensure that they will not have the same effect again, should there be a reason outside our control that the country will again be starved of fuel. The report is intended to assist the department in formulating energy policy, and it establishes the potential usefulness of alternative fuels for increasing energy security and self-sufficiency in the Irish transport sector. Such alternatives of liquid petroleum gas, compressed natural gas, electricity and alcohol derived from renewable sources such as cereal crops, vegetable oils and hydrogen are among the alternatives. But the report concludes that even at the end of this century, oil will still be our dominant transport fuel with synthetic fuels derived from coal probably competing for a share of the market. I asked one of the authors of the report, Mr Hugh Finlay, if it was realistic that alternative fuels would account for 15% of the market by the year 2000. Yes, we think that's realistic. That's even a conservative view. This 15% will be a mixture of alternatives. You'll have in there, of course, LPG, liquid petroleum gas. You'll have compressed natural gas derived from conceal gas, if it's not depleted by then. And you will have new things coming in, like industrial alcohol made from agricultural substrates, and hopefully electric road vehicles, which will be economic at that time to purchase and to run. Thinking of the 1973 situation when we had to queue for our petrol, how well equipped are we today to meet demand? We are much better now than we were in 73. I mean in, in 1973 I don't think we even had 40 days supply of petrol and diesel. We have a little over 80 days at the moment but that's not enough because look at New Zealand for example. In New Zealand they have 180 days supply and in Japan they're talking about having 300 days supply. The report has been presented this morning to the Minister. Do you think it will be shelved or will the government act on it? Well, I hope not. I mean, there's a very big problem here. The problem is, like, if there's some international disruption, if there's a war, or some aftermath of a Holocaust, what would happen if we don't make provision along the lines recommended here? We could find ourselves in great difficulty. Uh, we could be almost back to uh, a very primitive economy in about six months.